talk louder? Not working, Tom. Not working. Project. It matters. It matters. It matters. That's how you start rumors, you get people into trouble. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. All right. Test one, two. Test one, two. All right, we're going to... Now what do you have to say, Tom? Oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to start. We're going to start with a number from Pal Joey. It's a film that uh, I think featured Frank Sinatra. Um, and the script was based on a lot of stories written by John O'Hara for the New Yorker many years ago. And uh, the script turned into Pal Joey. Uh, and we're going to play I Could Write a Book. Of course, the, the big number that made it was Bewitched, Bothered, and Bewildered from that show. Much more known, but we're going to play I Could Write a Book.
Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, as I said, that was I could write a book. Uh, on, uh, I think it's June, June eleventh. The Don LePard Big Band's going to be here, performing. And they're going to play a Thad Jones composition called Kids Are Pretty People. So we're going to play that <laughs> before they do. <laughs> <laughs> it won't sound as big, but...
Thank you. Kids are kids are pretty people by Thad Jones. <laughs> the odd time Rob doesn't open both pages, but <laughs> anyway, he did this time. Here's a composition by Hoagie Carmichael. And this composition was his mother's favorite song. And it's rather apt. It's uh, called One Morning in May. Originally written in 4-4, four, four, but we're going to play it in 3-4. One morning in May. <laughs> well, just, just drop one beat, Dave, every bar. You know, some interesting compositions, uh, 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 people play this, like there's a wonderful duet by Jim Hall and Don Thompson, uh, a duet from a, an album called Commitment. But uh, anyway, here we go. One morning in May.
Thank you very much. This next composition was written by uh, Burton Lane, composer of, uh, in other words, or Fly Me to the Moon, and Alan J. Lerner. Normally it's Lerner and Lowe, but somehow uh, Lowe got left out of the picture. And anyway, they came out, uh, there was a, a royal wedding about to happen in England between uh, the marriage of Princess Elizabeth and Philip Mountbatten. So they, uh, they wanted to play a, a, write a nice ballad. And they did, it's a beautiful ballad. And it's from the royal wedding and it's called Too Late Now. Alan J. Lerner, th they wrote it over the telephone. Imagine writing a composition. Anyway, here it is, too late now. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Too late now. I have two compositions by Randy Weston. And I think I'll play Saucer Eyes, written by, I think it was recorded by Kenny Dorham, yeah, Saucer Eyes, it's from that great vocalist, Samara Joy, it's on one of her albums, I think. Anyway, Saucer Eyes. Ah, fooled him. She's got to keep him on his toes back there. <laughs> I may come back to high fly, but for now I'm going to play saucer eyes. You look very serious, Rob. I'm not.
Oh, thank you very much. Saucerize. I'm not sure. I don't know, but it, I, I'll, I'll have to, I, I have to look at the tape and make sure. Oh. <laughs> it's like hockey, eh? You got to yeah. I'll check the tape and just see. So we're going to play one more number, and uh, then we're going to take a short break, have a cup of tea, and uh, or coffee, whatever. Maybe something stronger. And um, then it's open for the jam session, so we have some wonderful players here this evening. And um, so we're going to play a composition by a friend of mine, a wonderful trumpet player, Mike Harriet. I think he's teaching in uh, Newfoundland, I think, at Memorial University. I'm not sure. Anyway, he wrote a, a bossa nova. It's called Joe Beam. J-O-E-B-E-A-M. Oh.
Joe Bean. <laughs> the name of that never bossa nova. That song before, never heard it before. Yes, you have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you've played it. You, I've played it many times with you. How long is it? How long is it? Uh, well, before the pandemic. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to take a short break. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you very much, Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. on drums. Dave. Rob, Rob, Tom, Tom. See you in a bit.
Test. Ah, there we go. This is the fourth microphone that I've had the pleasure of speaking to tonight. No, <laughs> we're going to stick with this one. We're going to start because uh, I have a, an old friend who showed up tonight, and uh, we haven't played together for quite a while, and it's such a treat. Mike Broadley on uh, trumpet. We're gonna we're gonna start with a a ballad uh, called um, Nancy with the Laughing Face.
I think this one works. Oh, okay. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Let's give it a try. Check one, two. That sounds like enough. Snap. 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 Um, yeah, just start walking in half with brushes would be great. Micrograms and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Once a leader, always a leader. <laughs> And then you just get old and just go away, so. <laughs> this won't be too much fun. Oh, sweet and lovely lady, be good. Oh, lady, be good. Be good to me. I am so awfully misunderstood. Oh, lady, be good. Be good to me. Please have some pity I'm all alone in this Victorian city I'm just a lonesome trumpet player in the wood oh lady be good Oh, 
Oh, sweet and lovely lady, be good. Oh, lady, be good. Be good to me. I am so awfully misunderstood. Oh, lady, be good. Be good to me. Please have some pity. I'm all alone in this Victorian city. I'm just a lonesome trumpet player in the wood. Oh, lady, be good. Oh, lady, be good. Oh, lady, be good. Did you have a song in mind, Sean? Sean, does he kind of know oh, oh, how to set it up? How to set it up? Is that right? Um, can you plug in? Uh, is the volume on? Okay. There you go.
We could do a song with you. We could do the vocal track right now. Do do Let's do one, Misty. Misty, Misty yeah. uh, do it. Wonderful world. Okay. Is that, do you know that one or Misty? Uh, wonderful world. Wonderful world. world. Yeah. Is great. Uh, Oh, here's Sean. What what key do we do this in? E. Oh, e. e. Thank you. Oh, that's great for piano. Okay. <laughs> e E is in easy. Or or is that? Oh, F F is no problem. Yeah. E is like non-union scale, right? Yeah. This is my first time. You know, I'm going to get fined for wearing shorts to any musical gig. I know that. My name is Lonnie Glass, by the way. I'm really a rock and roll guy. This is my first time singing jazz. And I love the old standards. I played them in bar mitzvah bands in Toronto for years, back in the 70s. Isn't it such 
such a wonderful world. Yeah. Come on, Louis Maestro. <laughs> Sunday him.
singing and you'll spread your wings and take to the sky but till that morning there ain't nothing can harm you when daddy and mommy standing by Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Your dad is rich and your ma is good looking. So, which little baby don't? So watch little baby, don't you cry. Sure, we'll take it up with our, our blues. Yes, sir.
Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for sticking with us for this last jam set. And uh, yeah, uh, probably next time I'm here might be July, I guess. I don't think there's any, uh, there's no trio in June, I don't think, because uh, Jazz Fest is here. So. so we'll see you in a couple of months. Thanks again for coming down to Herman's. All right. Thank you for all the guests sitting in. And I missed one guest, which I'll try and get in the next time we're here. All right. Thank you. Thank you.